we wanted to share with you all the newest information we've been gathering on low carbohydrate, high fat diet. This video we're calling the skinny and healthy foods and high fat diet. We want to make the point that it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. And until you make the decision to start a new lifestyle, you're never going to lose the weight. As you can see in this proto, it's a weapon of mass destruction, all the carbs that are introduced into our diet by the food industry. We have been told for years by the FDA and the food industry that saturated fats were unhealthy and the cause of heart disease. Current research is reporting that saturated fat is in fact good for you because it raises your good cholesterol. What do they feed cows to fatten them up? Carbohydrates in the form of corn, uh, uh, leftover uh, feed meal. Mounting evidence shows that most of the problems associated with eating meat are in reality eating corn-fed meat. One cup of corn is 123 grams of total carbohydrate. To lose weight, you must avoid starchy vegetables because they are high in carbohydrates. Bear in mind that the sweeter the vegetable, the more carbs you will be eating. Stop the video and look at how pervasive corn is in everything we touch. In soda, in milkshakes, in carb salad, in uh, carb salad dressing, uh, uh, chicken nuggets, a cheeseburger, french fries. All around us are these carbohydrates and basically in everything we touch. And why corn? Because corn is so cheap to grow and it grows in such abundance. Try to keep your consumption of carbs to 20 grams a day. A single cupcake has 20 sips of grams of carbohydrate, 6 grams more than you should take in during a complete day. No wonder we get fat and don't know why. Carbohydrates include all grains and fruit. A single slice of bread has 20 grams. A banana has 27 grams of carbs. The key is to replace carbohydrates with some protein and lots of fat. Yes, you read that right, lots of fat. You must understand that your brain is made up of first water and then fat. That includes mono, unsaturated fat, and saturated fat. Yes, saturated fat. That includes monosaturated, monosaturated fats like nuts, avocado, salmon, and olive oil. It also includes saturated fat like eggs, cheese, butter, coconut oil, and bacon. Look at this diagram of one, one cupcake equals four and a half donuts. What is saturated fat? Saturated fat is often treated as an unhealthy nutrient, but it has actually many health benefits, which includes boosting your brain, enhancing your immune system, reducing your heart disease risk, supporting your nervous system, and straightening your bones. One of the reasons why we were told fats were so bad is because the food industry could not make a profit off milk products and cheeses and butter. So they created a chemical called margarine, which they mass produce, which is full of trans fats, which is harmful to our digestive system and extremely harmful to our weight and waistline. It has been proven that most of the modern diseases come in fl from inflammation as a result of eating too much carbohydrates, not cholesterol. HDL cholesterol is good for you. The bad LDL cholesterol comes from eating carbohydrates, not saturated fat. The bad LDL comes from eating too many carbohydrates, trans fats, and industrialized omega-6 fats found in cooking oils like vegetable oil, soybean oil, corn oil, etc. So eliminate these harmful fats, drastically reduce your carbohydrate intake, and watch those small, dense LDL part particles disappear. Look at this diagram. Say no to Crisco, to Pam, to uh, Wesco, to organic uh, granola oil, and yes, to organic olive oil, eggs, organic coconut oil, organic butter, and corn-fed beef. And again, like we just showed you in the last uh, slide, 
corn-fed beef avoids the uh, overwhelming uh, content of corn. You must reach the moment of realization you must give up eating the modern diet of low-fat, high carbohydrates to end your obesity struggles. You know, where has the low-fat, high carbohydrate gotten this world into but an obesity epidemic? Carbohydrates do give us energy, but when we eat more carbohydrates than our body energy requirements demand, those extra carbs are turned into body fat. Body fat is simply fat that is being stored for later use. When we eat fewer carbohydrates than our energy needs require, such as in times of famine, our body gets its energy by burning the stored body fat. Look at this uh, two uh, diagrams here where one donut from Krispy Kreme is 190 calories, but that's not really the harm. The harm is that one donut has 21 grams of carbohydrates. A bagel that I have been guilty of having many, many mornings for breakfast, one bagel is 310 calories. I never thought of that. But the real harm comes in 64 carbs of total carbohydrates. Ouch! What we have been told about the cause of weight gain for the last 40 years, quite frankly, is bullshit. And this baby here is saying, wait, what? Do your own research. Check out Dr. Eric Westman, a nationally recognized obesity expert who heads up the Duke Lifestyle Medicine Clinic. Uh, you could stop the video and get this link to watch his video and explaining the whole diet. There's another wonderful video called Eat More Fat, Amazing Results, which will, that shares with you from many different people talking about this subject from many different angles. Do your research, get educated, lose the weight once and for all. Please subscribe and share this information. We depend on you to get the word out. You know, we give all this information for free. We have over 700 videos share the information, help people lose the weight once and for all. Please like us on Facebook.com Saturday Diet. Go to JohnBars.com to get free copy of the John Bars Meal Replacement Recipe and subscribe to our new Go to SaturdayDiet.com to learn about our weight loss e-course packages. Again, thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.